Warning, we take extreme precautions while exploring abandoned places and always leave them intact. Our main objective is always to document. We please ask you not to attempt to find and explore this place. Thank you. Holy sh**. This entire wall is covered in blood. A few weeks ago, a ghost town in the desert of California caught our attention. It was once a mining town home to over 4,000 workers who built a life there. However, about 30 years ago, due to rising environmental concerns, the mines were forced to shut down their operations in the area and all the workers left with their families. The town is now closed off to the public until further notice, becoming a literal shell of its history. Our plan was to drive out to the town and see if there's any way we could make it inside to explore and potentially spend the night there. Oh, and we brought Matt's younger brother Thomas along for his first abandoned adventure. There's nothing we can do if someone's there and tries to rob us or... It feels like the Blair Witch. With all our gear and all that stuff, we're literally in a ghost town. Like, that is the ideal place to rob or, or like, kill someone. Well, who would be in a ghost town? I don't know. We left for the abandoned ghost town. We are not back. Please call 911. <laughs> <laughs> And we don't die. I guess if we're all grabbing we're our own stuff. for the last meal of our lives. What do you want, Dan? Not Ralph's. Not Ralph's. If it's gonna be the last meal of our lives. Dude, Whole Foods. Dude. Dan, are we sponsored by Whole Foods? No. Are we sponsored by Ralph's? No, no. either. That's <laughs> <laughs> enough water. Talking about security guard, what security guard? Uh, I don't know. This is three hours away from civilization. Oh, Teddy. Oh, oh, young cub. Young oh, Dan, that's a security guard over there. Dude, there's people here. There's people here. Where? I'm gonna get out of the car. It's the town. That is the town? Yeah. So maybe let's park. Let's make sure we park the car at like a safer spot. Go all the way around and try to get in here. We might have a chance of parking the car. You wanna hide the car here? The town is in the middle of, of this. If we get caught, we just all start speaking our like native languages. The gas station, is it this way or uh, on the gravel road? So we're, we're hiding right now and hopefully find a back entrance to the town because the, the main entrance is watched. I'm on the verge of like throwing up. I'm so nervous. Is that snake hole? One snake bite and we're Hiding behind the bushes of this barricaded entrance towards the ghost town. We're gonna go in one by one to make sure that no one spots us. And it's really sketchy right now. The dog is barking quick. What's up? There's people here, eh? I'm not alone. Do you hear the dog? That's the person taking care of the place. Yeah. Like he's not just gonna wander down the abandoned town. Unless he does a nightly search. Oh. Try to get into the town as soon as possible. That is crazy. Wow. This literally feels like the apocalypse. It's just like just barren wasteland. Set up inside a house like this. This is a nice little cozy home. 
All right, this is our home for the night. God bless you. Yeah, there were, there were bullets outside the wall. Really? Yeah. What? Well, imagine just like someone laying down over there or a dead body. That's a bullet. It's only one though. Remember how some houses in the 80s have chemicals in the walls? Yeah. It's best. That's what this is definitely do. Let's just set, set up the tent and go explore. It's like this hole. Just put it in. Alright, let's go. Destroyed a lot of out of all the buildings here. Thieves have grabbed the copper from all the cables. Yo, there's a cop. There's a cop. This is a barber shop. Yeah. yeah. Holy sh Yeah. Oh, this is so warm. Welcome to the theater. I don't have the topic. It's a laugh. Just watch out, the stairs could collapse. Whoa, what is that? Probably like where a projector was. Yeah. Yes? Did it see you? I don't know. Wait, there's blood everywhere. There, holy sh Jesus. Holy sh This entire wall is covered in blood. It looks like blood. Holy oh, shit. It's weird, there's some houses that are like completely destroyed and there's others that are very preserved like the, the, like the one we're sleeping in. You wanna see it? Like this one is wrecked. Whose room is this tonight? <laughs> yeah, we should play rock, paper, scissors, shoot and whoever loses this. Oh, the, the ceiling is like flat. What odds you sleep in this room? I'll do it. <laughs> Where's our house? Huh? It's one more street down. Are you sure? No, the neighborhood. No. Up? It's up. Alright, it's up this way. We must be right here, no? Home sweet home. We found it. Oh, I love coming home for this though. Where's supper? <laughs> Yeah, you gotta be uh, really strategic. You gotta be really strategic with, because you never know what happens tomorrow. You don't know what happens tomorrow. <laughs> Not tomorrow. Let me get the f out of here. <laughs> if you think about where we are right now, it feels like we're just camping. And then if you got like an aerodome shot of this place, this tiny house in this oh. abandoned ghost town.
a single moment in my life where I've not been more scared. <laughs> <laughs> more like continuously scared for like this long. Or, like the amount of adrenaline is just continuously going for hours. Oh, it's so nerve wracking. We're currently in the middle of nowhere. And that's the house. This is a really scary one. This is called Children of the Corn. Get the blanket out of the back seat and my rifle. Someone cut his throat. Maybe whoever is watching us. He repeated over and over and at last she began to recover and held him tight. They might have dan they might have been dancing. There on the noon struck road with the boy's corpse at their feet. What are you doing? Jesus Christ. What are you doing? I'm just setting up my seat. Oh my god, dude. Look. This is jumping. 99. Good morning. Sunday.